guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the new photos that have been released for the episode titled Mixie in the Middle. That is in fact episode 11, coming after this week's episode, actually tonight's episode. And then also we have another synopsis for the episode afterwards, episode 12. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we've got a lot of stuff to go through, some very interesting photos and some very interesting details from the synopsis. Okay, so the first synopsis for episode 11, Mixie in the Middle, goes like this. Thomas Lennon returns as Mr. Mix's Piddalik. Supergirl and team must stop Nixley from vanquishing a familiar face from Supergirl's past, Mr. Mix's Piddalik. Mixie returns and explains Nixley's dark history to the super team in the best way he knows how in song form. Meanwhile, Lena visits her mother's birthplace in Ireland, eager to dig into her past, but she is shocked by the small town's icy reception towards her. Okay, so wow, that is an interesting synopsis. Obviously, Mixie first showed up in season two, that was a different actor, but Thomas Lennon is returning as Mixie in this season. He showed up last season in the 100th episode, and so obviously it's a big deal that he's coming back because that was part of his deal. We knew he would have returned and he is being linked into the Nixley storyline. Not to get confused with each other because the names do sound very similar. However, it's super cool to see him back because I really liked him in the 100th episode. But Supergirl and team must stop Nixley from vanquishing a familiar face from Supergirl's past. That is Ms. Mixer Spillick. So in this episode, it is the reveal that Nixley is going to be a villain or like one of the big villains of the season obviously they're going to be taking her down and like obviously Nia's met her already in the last episode I presume we're going to get more Nixley in tonight's episode so be on the lookout for all of that obviously we're going to have my review out right away after the episode airs so what do you guys think about Mixie coming back are you excited did you like him in the past did you like Thomas Lennon and also are you excited that the two fifth dimensional characters are actually meeting for the first time that we've seen on screen i'm very excited because you know there's going to be some interesting backstory to them i think and so he explains nixley's dark history to the super team in the best way he knows how in song form now what the hell is this a musical episode like are we actually going to get that that is really unexpected and very welcomed because I mean, if we get Supergirl singing, that would be amazing, because we haven't seen that since the crossover with The Flash, you know, the musical crossover, and it's easily my favourite episode, I think, in the Arrowverse, or like, top five at least, and so I'm really looking forward to that, I'm interested, it's completely out of the blue, I didn't think Mixie would ever end up, like, singing, I don't think he sang in the past, but, you know, that is an interesting development. But Lena, meanwhile, is going to be visiting Ireland, and she's eager to dig into her past, but then she visits her small town, and uh, she's not very welcome. And I presume that's because she's been away for so long, and, you know, she's trying to find out what happened to her mum, and, like, her history and everything around that, so she's going to be doing some digging. I'm looking forward to this, to see what... Lena actually finds out, because I guess there's a chance that Lena's mum could potentially still be around, although it's unlikely, and we never gone to Ireland in the show, so I think it's going to be interesting how they shoot it, like, what set did they use? Because they didn't go to Ireland, obviously, they have their set up in Vancouver, so maybe they made a sort of island set and, you know, they're using just Vancouver to imitate Ireland in some way. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing. This is the photos for this episode. And so the first photo that we have is of Supergirl and she is in the tower and she is talking to someone. I don't know who it is, but one of the team members. They're probably coming back after Nixley has run loose on the world and wreaked havoc. It's a very cool photo. But let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so we have the whole team here, or at least most of the team. We got Supergirl, we got Mixie in the back with his crazy hairdo. Obviously, this is more comic book accurate. Although, I have to say, I don't know if I buy it. Like, it looks kind of stupid, to be honest. But, you know, nevertheless, I'm excited to see Mixie back, even if his haircut looks kind of dumb. Like, yeah, I get that it's in the comics, but I don't know. You didn't do it before, so why do it now? But I don't know if there is an actual explanation. Has he just changed his hair? But it seems like Jean agrees, like he's just staring at his hair right here, he's like, hmm, 
nope. And uh, we got Alex and Brainy just in front and they are looking at someone or something. Maybe it's like a screen, but I presume it is someone probably. Okay, so Lena in Ireland. So she's on the phone call, presumably back to National City or to someone in Ireland, maybe a relative or someone she knows or, you know, has heard about from her past. And so she seems quite happy. So that's going to be good, even though she's going to get that icy reception once she arrives. Okay, so we have this photo of Mixie. So Mixie is definitely going to be helping the team to be taking Nixley down. And I don't know the reason, but it's probably because Mixie isn't a bad character. Like, he's just a mischievous character, really. Like, in the comics, even when he's up against Superman, he's always trying to play tricks on him rather than actually trying to take him down like any of the other villains would do. And I think this is the same. Like, he's just here, he's gonna help them because he sees that they're in trouble and he obviously wants to see Supergirl again because he is obsessed with Supergirl in the TV show. And obviously in the process of that, he's gonna reveal, oh, Nixley, that person, that fifth dimensional character that, you know, has been popping up over National City. Oh, she's bad. Like, she's got a bad, very dark past. So he's here and Alex has got some gloves on and it looks like Jean is doing some work on a tablet. So they're definitely trying to figure out something. I don't know what it is, but presumably it has something to do with Nixley. And so we move on to a photo of Lena in Ireland and she's meeting someone. I don't know who it is, but the person looks a tiny bit older than her, like maybe 10 years max. It could be like five years. So I don't know if it's someone she knows. I don't think it's her mum. Doesn't look like she's old enough to be her mum. So I'm presuming it's just like a friend or a contact in Ireland as she tries to figure stuff out. Okay, so let's move on to the next photo. Let's go back to National City. We got Nick Slee being mischievous out in the open in a park. This park they've been filming at quite a lot this season, so you might recognize the set in later episodes. But you have Nixie here and she's like rubbing her hands all mischievously and you know, like a villain would do. So she is here, she's like got the full makeup on and everything. She looks like a villain pretty much. And let's move on, so we are in some sort of like tavern it looks like, or it's very cool, like I like the candles all around, it's kind of spooky. I was like, hmm, is she doing a seance or something? But we have Lena here with someone, I don't know who specifically it is again, because we haven't met most of these Irish characters, so I'm looking forward to seeing who they are and uh, how Lena knows them. Okay, back in the tower, we have Brainy and Nia, just a cool photo I wanted to include it because they are awesome and Nia is definitely in the forefront at the moment, especially with Nixley being around and they're going to have to deal with, you know, Nia being the one to let Nixley escape. She literally did that last episode and Team Supergirl is surely going to have some big words with her. Okay, so very exciting, some really cool photos out in this park. We have Supergirl and Mixie. They are standing off against what looks like Nixley because we've seen some behind the scenes photos so we pretty much know what is going on in the scene. So they're all confronting Nixley, that being the whole of Team Supergirl. Because look, you got Supergirl here, you got Alex, and in the next photo there's Brainy and Nia. And in this one you have the whole team and they are all facing off against Nixley. Obviously, Mixie isn't in this photo, so I don't know where specifically he is. Maybe he is behind Supergirl or something, or he's gone to take on Nixley already. But this is just an awesome photo. Like, you got the whole of Team Supergirl here, and they're looking badass, and they're confronting their villain. So, very much so, looking forward to this whole episode. Definitely one of my most anticipated ones in the upcoming weeks. Okay, so let's move on to the final thing. We have a synopsis for episode 12, the episode afterwards. This is titled Blind Spots, and this is a big episode because this is the John Diggle episode where he's going to be showing up, and David Ramsey directed this episode, and Azzy Tess Fay wrote the episode. So it's a big kind of legacy episode, I guess you could say. So it goes like this Supergirl star Azzy Tess Fay co wrote the episode directed by David Ramsey. Kelly is horrified when the Ormfell building implodes injuring many in the community, including Joey, who we met last episode. However, her horror quickly turns to frustration when she realizes that the hospital is overwhelmed, people are getting sicker, and no one is coming to help, including Supergirl, who is busy fighting Nixley. Knowing that she can make a difference, Kelly embraces her power and fully steps into her role as Guardian. Joined by Supergirl, Alex, Diggle, and team, Guardian leads the way to restoring justice 
to the Fallen community. Okay, so this is a very interesting synopsis as well because this is Diggle's episode. Diggle's gonna be showing up. We've seen some stuff. We know that Azzy is in her golden guardian suit in this episode. So very hyped to see that. But this whole episode is bringing back the people we saw in the previous episode. So it's nice to see them come back because I thought Joey was very good. I think also Esme will show up again, probably alongside Joey's brother as well. So yeah. Anyway, the building that they were in, it explodes from the inside, and so she is shocked. And they specifically say community in this, even though it's like a house, but I guess uh, it is a community. But nevertheless, that means that like a bunch of people are going to get hurt, I think is what they're implying. And so with the local hospital being overwhelmed and people getting sicker, I don't know why that they're getting sicker if the building is literally exploded. However, maybe it's some sort of chemical leak that sort of spread in that place and that's why people are getting ill. And so the hospital is overwhelmed and no one's come to help, including Supergirl, which is a roast against Supergirl, even though she's busy fighting Nixley. She's not helping out where she is needed, so that sort of forces Kelly to be like, okay, I'm ready, I'm going to become Guardian because I need to do something, I feel like I can do something, so why not? And so she knows she can make a difference, so Kelly embraces her power and fully steps into her role as Guardian, and then later in the episode she's going to be joined by the whole team with guest star David Ramsey playing John Diggle returning, and uh, we've seen some fight scenes with Kelly and also with Diggle, and it seems like it's going to be pretty cool even though like Kelly hasn't practiced that much, like she hasn't trained much, she's not much of a fighter, we know she's going to be training in the couple of episodes before, but she's still not going to be a professional, but it looked like from the behind the scenes, she looked like she'd been fighting for years, so I guess that's just a continuity issue, but nevertheless I'm looking forward to her as Guardian. But that about does it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.